Alright, the best for the last they say, and also the least prepared for the last, because my slide has gone, I didn't put sunscreen on, well it's sunny outside, I forgot my sunglasses, <coughs> and all this preparation might seem a bit trivial, but people in San Francisco, in Tokyo, and in Istanbul also don't have preparations for an earthquake, simply because they don't know when it will happen, when will their city be destroyed by a big earthquake. Um, and people of course want to know, they want to protect their Golden Gate Bridge, their Hagia Sophia and their wannabe Eiffel Tower in Tokyo. Um, and for this they asked scientists, can you tell us when the big earthquake will happen? And we scientists, we know a lot, but we don't know that yet. Because it's a huge puzzle. A fault that produces earthquakes is very, very complicated. And we don't, we don't know everything yet. For instance, we don't know what will happen during the earthquake. If you are standing next to a fault here and the earthquake happens, you will fly away. You cannot measure. You cannot measure what is going on because, well, you will be injured. And that's why they called me and they asked, can you do some research? And I said, yeah, of course I can. I have nothing else to do. So, I went to the lab in Grenoble in France and there they have a very advanced hammer. It's a big machine, but it's, it's just a hammer. You can hammer rocks with it. And this is exactly the same what happens during an earthquake. To the rocks next to the fault, they are also hammered by a shock wave. And I can do that in the lab. And I can try to figure out what will happen to the rocks next to the fault. I can see if they break in two or into multiple fragments, like an explosion. And this is of course very important because we don't know that yet. And we need to know it to predict earthquakes. It's still a long way away, but I'm working on it, guys. Yeah. Yeah.